This surprised me how long it took till I finally decided to cook this dish. Ropa vieja. A traditional Cuban cuisine that I fell in love with during my stay in Havana. Now we need to go back a little bit. Back to the beginning of this story. And that is 99 days, 1 hour, 26 minutes, and 13 seconds ago. It was a Sunday morning. Never have I thought that one day I would be studying abroad in Havana. But here we are, walking on the streets in Havana. At first, I was filled with pure excitement. Everything is just so different. It sounds different, it smells different. Then I realized I also look different from here. Very different. Unlike in New York, where I can just blend in by walking super fast or speak the language that I have been practicing ever since elementary school. Can't do that here, not in Havana. Although we go to classes here, and have memorized the street name by heart. The honk of taxis and the menus handed to me on the sidewalk keep reminding me that I'm just a tourist here. Maybe it's the color of my skin, or my broken Spanish, or maybe it's the clothes I wear. I should stop wearing Adidas. One day, as me and my roommate walk along the Malecon, we sat in an abandoned stadium. And behind it are four broken outdoor basketball court and a drained swimming pool. There were people playing football on the court, so we quietly moved toward them and watched them from the sideline, hoping that they would invite us to play. Finally, after a goal, a teenager with curly hair pointed at the ball, looked at us and asked, you know who that? I can't tell you how excited I was when he asked that. I nodded like a bubblehead doll and ran onto the court. My teammates were yelling things that I had no idea what they meant, but in retrospect, they probably stepped past the ball. Soon the sun set and the lights were out. We reluctantly left the court. But the next day, we came back again, and the same teenager waved at us from far. Then the next day, the following day, the day after, we became familiar with the different groups in the stadium. There's the Zumba group. They're in charge of the music. Then the basketball group, made up of several skinny teenagers and sometimes their girlfriends. At the far end of the court is the squash group, led by a one-armed coach who overwatched the entire stadium like a father. Last but not least, the football squad. Usually there are several games going on at the same time, but everyone knows there's only one real game. And that's the one playing at the court right next to the pool. That's where the best players go and where everyone wanna go. So think of it as an invite only game. We set that as our goal we come to the court every day at five like a clockwork. My life seems to fall into a routine. Class, football, dinner, and sometimes the strawberry smoothie and infinito. Repeat. We soon learn the names of everyone on the court. And they stop looking at us like two aliens. Instead, they would greet us with a kiss on the cheek. Sometimes, when they see us alone, they would come over and help us practice. That's when I learned how to do a free kick and a header. And we're counting down to the days to the game. One evening, as we walked past by Hotel Presidente on our way to the stadium, 
I noticed that the taxi drivers outside of the hotel didn't ask us if we need a taxi as usual. They just looked at us and gave us a light nod. I exchanged a look with my friend, and I can see the same excitement in her eyes. Ever since then, whenever we see foreigners taking pictures of the crumbling wall in the court, I will stare at them and be like, look at those tourists. Maybe on the outside, it's just an abandoned stadium that will make a good picture on Instagram. The graffiti is on the wall or fading. The water in the swim pool is filled with leaves. But it's so much more than that. Whenever I'm standing on the field, I feel like somewhere I belong. And there's nothing more beautiful than seeing the sun goes down the Malacón and that orange glow covers the entire court. I could feel that warmth on my skin. And I look around. All I see is the sun, the ocean, and the smiles on people's face. Wednesday, the World Health Organization declared the novel coronavirus a pandemic, while Cuba confirmed its first three cases. In the muestras de pacientes, se estudiaron 1,386 casos en el día de ayer. Tres meses que el nuevo coronavirus en la ciudad de Trinidad, convirtiéndose en los primeros casos en Cuba, dijo el miércoles el Ministerio de Salud. I know that everything eventually will come to an end, but this time, it came without a warning. I learned the news during a halftime break, and we lost that game 20 minutes later. I walked out of the stadium, hugged my friends, knowing that this might be the last time I ever see them again. Girl, I haven't even made it to the big game yet, what the f But God didn't hear me. The flight had been booked, and the suitcase had been packed. So 99 days, 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 2 seconds after that, here I am, back in New York City, cooking Luba Vieja, trying to grasp on those memories before it fades. Oh, 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 oh,